What's going on guys? Welcome to part two with this mono black aggro deck. This one is sweet. Uh, I know in the first video, uh, if you didn't watch it, please do. Um, but in the first video, we really harped on the JDC stuff and potential future plans of that. Uh, we're going to focus on the deck a little more in this one, uh, I promise. But we did have a very, very good record in the first video. So hopefully we can mirror that uh, again this time. Um, this is an interesting hand. It's a little bit it's a little bit hit or miss, um, but we do have a couple, you know, Kite Sail Freebooter is a good interactive spell. Myers Grasp is good against, obviously, any um, aggro decks. Uh, and if we get a land, we can potentially spawn. Uh, we'll try. We'll try. Uh, the double Rankle is a little bit, you know, disheartening because, obviously, we're not going to play two Rankles. But um, there is some some nice little interactions if we wanted to with, uh, with Rankle that's kind of interesting. You can sack itself and then just play another one. <laughs> um, I'm definitely taking Teferi, because um, that's the problem card. Uh, Elspeth Conquers Death, very, very good, but we're not anywhere close to really being affected by it. So that's very helpful. Um, very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and attack here. I'm going to go ahead and get spawned down. I want to spread threats out a little bit, considering they didn't have a sweeper in hand. Um, and they may have drawn one, and that's fine, but uh, I do want to get you know, damage kind of spread out here uh, as much as possible. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Just so we can get in for as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, next turn we could potentially win the game, depending on if they just don't do anything this turn. Um, but looks like they've got a sweeper and that's fine. Um, okay. Land is helpful. Land is very helpful. Uh, so let's go ahead and get Rankle down. Three in there. Um, say each player discards a card. They're probably just going to discard a land, and that's fine. But uh, we have an extra Myers Grasp that I don't think is going to really be doing much. Uh, Rankle does a great job of threatening to fairy as well. Um, just because, you know, they can bounce it, and then what? Um, <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. So, yeah, they're going to Elspeth Conquer's Death. That's fine. Um, thankfully, we've got another Rankle. So that's not really a problem. Um, and... Um, hmm. You know, I actually think we don't do anything. Um, that might be incorrect. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really want to give them cards. I don't particularly want to discard either of these. Just on the off chance they kill this, I'd like to have Knight of the Ebon Legion as backup. Um... Maybe that's incorrect. We do have some card draw on the field, so maybe that's wrong, but uh, I think this gives us the best possible chance. Um, let's do that. If they want to take Ashiok, that's fine. Yes, that's perfectly fine. So we win, right? Theoretically. This can't block us. There we go. Easy peasy. I am liking this deck, guys. Uh, it seems very, very just efficient and aggressive, and I really like that. Up to plat three. Let's go. Um, loving it, loving it. Uh, this deck is really, really sweet from my experience so far. It's also not very difficult to play, um, which considering we haven't played this deck before, uh, and we've got four straight wins with it, that's not bad. Um, Granted, it's a mono black aggro deck. Like, how complicated can you get? But um, there are a couple little small interactions that are worth noting. This is an interesting hand. Um, yeah, let's try it. We'll lean on Knight first, uh, because that is the more aggressive card. And then we've got two Hateful Eidolons following that up if we'd like. Uh, gutter Bones as well. Let's go ahead and attack you. And let's spread out the damage. Um, I'm perfectly fine with committing a little bit. Uh, maybe Gutter Bones would have been a little better. But uh, this islands make me think Flash. Um, and maybe that's incorrect, but that's just kind of what what I get vibe-wise. Um, let's play out the Rotting Redosaur. Super aggressive hand, for sure. Teamer. Oh, looks like they had an oops. Um, if we get a land, that's great. Wow. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm going to activate this. All right. 
That's helpful. <laughs> um, I don't want to discard. Like, I, I can play this out, but this is also just a really nice card to have. So I kind of want to leave it and just see what they do this turn. This is a pretty crucial turn um, because they could... They could sweep, they could do a lot of different stuff. It doesn't look like they're going to sweep, but I might be wrong. Um, this also gets this out of shock range, which I'm not tremendously worried about that, but that's a possibility, so we do have to be careful about it. Sure. That's fine. Uh, let's... Let's... Uh, we'll discard the Regisaur. Ooh, good choice. Good choice. Um, we're just going to attack all. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. That was real quick. Uh, I don't think... I think this deck is good. Um, <laughs> wow, that was quick. Um, granted, it looked like they did a couple accidental misplays, which, you know, it happens. Let's open another pack. Let's see what we get. Uh, I'm really liking the core set so far, by the way. Oh, Shackle guys, Nice. Um, let's see what we can do. Last game. And we're at six minutes. Uh, that's pretty crazy. But... Man, this deck is sweet. Uh, Mono Black Aggro, coming back. I love it. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, maybe we can get a perfect record. That'd be awesome. Uh, I never have high hopes for that, but that is a possibility. This is kind of a nice one, two, three. Uh, so I'm going to keep it. Um, Demonic Embrace. Oh, such an aggressive card. I love it. And hooking it onto like a Gutter Bones is perfect. Like it just doesn't who cares like that's fine they mulligan down that's not good for them oh all right aggressive deck um that probably doesn't bode well for the freebooters um so we'll see this might be a tougher matchup but that's fine we'll do what we can that scavenging ooze is very good so we've talked about scavenging ooze we had a mono green stompy list and you could see why it was so good there um the reason being, it just does a great job of eating the cards in the graveyard uh, to the point where it's very difficult to do much about it. Um, should we kite sail Freebooter or should we try and kill something here? Um, the trick is, if we kill one thing, we're still going to be probably worried about the other. Um, hmm. Let's Freebooter. I don't know that this is correct. Um, Looks like it was. That's pretty helpful, actually. Uh, and I'm not going to attack. Um, I don't really want them to be able to eat anything here, but they could they could do some good stuff, so we'll see what happens. Sure. They have no lands available. So we do this. We can then kill this with dead weight. I'm fine with this, actually. Let's do this. I don't know if this is correct, but this is just going to make it harder for them. Hopefully. Um, that's the idea, at least. Uh, so, let's do that. Let's deadweight this. And we can just kite sail Freebooter away the spell in their hand again. Yep. Um, and then next turn, we've got either Rotting Regisaur or Demonic Embrace available to us. So they're going to get a 4-4 down. That's fine. But we, again, Rotting Regisaur is bigger. Um, so I'm not tremendously worried about that. Uh, Meyer's Grasp is also quite good. But let's go ahead and just play one of these down. Um, it's just going to make it difficult for them to do as much damage here. Oh, this has Reach. Oh, I'm stupid. Ugh. My mistake. My mistake. Uh, but that's fine. This does give them attacks if they'd like. Um, proliferate, sure. It's pretty good. Uh, this definitely gives them attacks, but I'm all too happy to trade off here if they'd like to. No, okay. Um, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Let's do this. As much as I love that, I don't think we can keep that. Um... Hmm. Meyer's Grasp is a little less helpful now. So let's go ahead and play the second Rotting Regisaur. Um, I've played this a bit loosely and we're suffering for it. So that's my mistake. But that's fine. Um, and I'm not attacking him because obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> they've got a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, we discard that. That's fine. Um... 
Got her bones. Let's do that. This does have reach, so, you know, that's not, like, amazing by any means. But let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do this. Is this an instant? It is. So they can probably kill us or kill the red, rotting regisaur. Um, but they're going to have to trade some stuff to do it. Or at least this and then use the, the kill spell on this. <laughs> Which is fine. That just means, you know, it's essentially a two for one for us. Uh, because this we can replay. They can't replay that. So that's good. It's very good for sure. Don't have a card to discard, that's helpful. Um, I'm gonna draw a card here. That's not so good. Um, I don't think we can attack. Unfortunately, we're not really doing a ton. Um, yep. Dead weight. That's actually very helpful against that. Because that card is a problem, let me tell you. Um, yeah. That's fine. I mean, we're at a bit of a stalemate. Um, no attacks. Oops. Oh, yeah. Only if they've lost life this turn. That makes sense. I mean, we just have a really big dude. Uh, but I don't feel good about attacking in because on the kickback, they're going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage to us. So we do suffer there. Yeah. That's fine. And eventually they're just going to spread out. We just kind of need some threats. Um, that will suffice. That will do it. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Do we attack in? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to say yes. Let's try it. I mean, we got to break this at some point. They can double block up here if they'd like. And that's completely fine. Um... No. Okay. Um, now this we can give death touch. Uh, we're risking it a bit. Oh, uh, we... Ah, that was a mistake. We should have uh, brought these back. Or no, we shouldn't have. I am so wrong, but it worked out. Uh, a little surprised, though, that they conceded. I don't think that we had won it at that point. Um, but hey, we got it. Uh, that was a lot of misplaying on my end, uh, so that was a bit of a rough game. But all in all, we have won six games with this deck. That is... Top notch. Um, I really, really like this. Mono Black Aggro um, really has a lot of tools that like put it over the top. De the demonic whatever it is, the enchantment. Uh, let's go in and just make sure uh, I'm giving it demonic embrace. So this card is super aggressive. Not only does it give it evasion, but it also gives it that plus three plus one and it's replayable, uh, which is like kind of insane. Uh, it has, you know, a little bit of card draw included. Having four Castle Loxwains is great. Rankle having a little bit of card draw is good. Don't really like that it's for the opponent as well, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then the enchantment-based removal with Hateful Eidolon can really do some damage too. Kite Sail Freebooter being able to get in there and hopefully get rid of an important card on the opponent's side. We saw that do really, really well against the control deck, getting to Fairy out of the way. Um, that was just huge. Like... A lot of really, really strong plays. Uh, not to mention just it has the power level to like go over the top very quickly. Knight of the Ebon Legion giving uh, potential death touch is very, very good. Um, Rotting Registor just getting it down early and like what do you do about it? Uh, if you're not, uh, or if you're a burn deck, you probably can't burn it out. Um, if you're a green deck, you really just have to hope to overpower it quickly. Um, and then, you know, if you're a black deck, you can probably remove it, but like. There's just so much going on here that I really, really like this. It's a very elegantly simple deck, but works extraordinarily well. So I definitely recommend this for best of one ladder. Don't know how well it would do in two out of three. Uh, I know we don't normally play matches here, um, but uh, I think that this is a really solid deck. I like this one a lot. So I uh, really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And again, make sure to check out video one so you can kind of see us go over the deck a little bit more and all that kind of stuff. But hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.